Welcome to the third annual Seismic in Motion event. A day-long field tour through the dynamic and complex world of seismic survey, exploration, drilling, and data recording. The Canadian Association of Geophysical Contractors, in collaboration with industry partners, created SIM as a way to invite students, industry stakeholders, government representatives, and regulators to walk a mile in the shoes of frontline workers in the seismic industry. SIM takes place over a period of three days each October, giving newcomers a glimpse into a wide array of seismic activities and helping them to understand the scope of operations taking place every day across the expanse of Western and Arctic Canada. This is the work that precedes oil and gas drilling. Seismic data is the roadmap used by geologists and engineers to determine the location of resource deposits deep underground. Seismic in motion participants start the tour with an orientation to job site hazards and are outfitted in personal protective equipment like hard hats and reflective safety vests before venturing into the field. Guided groups are escorted by safety professionals to various field stations where they witness live demonstrations of explosives, helicopter operations and mountain rescue, seismic drilling, recording, and high-tech seismic surveying. SIM 2006 attracted over 500 participants to a site near Calgary, Alberta. Months of planning culminates as sponsor companies mobilize equipment such as mulchers and drilling rigs, strategically place seismic cables and geophones to replicate a three-dimensional seismic grid, and set up tents and catering facilities. It's a massive undertaking by the CAGC but successful by all accounts and gaining popularity every year. One of the objectives of SIM is to showcase the talents of the individuals and companies that comprise the Canadian seismic industry, their creativity in developing and adapting technology, and their high standards for safety and competence in the field. SIM participants see for themselves that the pace and adventure of seismic work brings with it challenges and dangers. Seismic work takes place outdoors in the extreme of temperatures and weather conditions, on steep terrain with thick ground cover, in forests amid wildlife and natural hazards. The mobilization of crews and equipment takes careful planning and supervision. As a result, Training and certification are cornerstones of a strong and healthy industry. The industry is regulated by the occupational health and safety laws in each jurisdiction and further supports training and competency with its own published set of industry-wide best practices. NFORM is the petroleum industry's training and certification arm. Developing and delivering such courses as seismic field operations supervisor, seismic blaster safety, seismic permit agent, and the Faller certification program to meet our industry's ever-evolving standards. Before seismic activity can begin, permission to access the land is required by landowners, farmers, and governments. The four-day seismic permit agent course provides the necessary knowledge and skills to identify, contact, and negotiate with landowners and special interest groups with respect to land access, line fees, and damages associated with seismic exploration projects. Students receive an introduction to geophysical operations, agricultural practices, initial and field assessments, geophysical permits and releases, and personal safety through discussion, exercises, and role-playing. Certificates are valid for three years and include a CAGC membership. A critical step in planning seismic operations is terrain assessment, for which the CAGC has developed a best practice. The first step is to evaluate the level of incline for crews who are in the field. This is done by consulting maps and by scouting or visual evaluation. Terrain is then classified into six categories depending on the severity of incline. Class 1 terrain is relatively flat, 
Class II refers to rolling hills. Both of these are considered in the green zone and are accessible by all field personnel. Class III and IV are steep and very steep. These are in the yellow zone and demand a higher level of fitness and training. Red zone terrain is Class V and Class VI, legally requiring rope access or fall protection. Essentially, this is vertical terrain and should have aerial support with a helicopter external transport system for rescue and extraction. Terrain classified as three or higher must undergo a secondary terrain assessment by a trained, competent assessor. Workers in geophysical exploration require training to prevent excavation damage to buried facilities like gas lines and power cables. Buried facilities locator gives workers the necessary skills and knowledge to accurately and safely mark and identify facilities and assures a minimum level of competency in basic locating principles through hands-on training. This hands-on training emphasizes markings, documentation, and the proper use of locating equipment, as well as industry accepted safe practices and regulatory requirements. Once achieved, this certification is valid for six years. Tree falling is an essential part of the seismic line construction in the field. It is also highly dangerous, as falling crews clear danger trees and mark a safe path through treacherous forest. The oil and gas industry adopted the WCB BC Faller Training Standard in the spring of 2005 for its workers across Canada. NFORM developed a training process to evaluate and train fallers to a new level of competency when falling trees over six inches in diameter. Experienced fallers can apply for certification through an evaluation with a qualified supervisor trainer. After a written or verbal exam, candidates demonstrate practical falling skills like site assessment, undercutting, and direction control. Those who achieve 75% or higher will be issued a certificate as a professional faller in the oil and gas industry. Those with 85% or higher can apply to be faller tutors helping other fallers improve their skills. New fallers, or those who don't yet meet the standard, can take the new N-Form course, expected in early 2007. Seismic line construction can be done using mechanized means, such as cats and mulchers, or using chainsaws, referred to as a hand cut line. The CAGC has published a set of mulching best practices including requirements for training. A worker must be certified in the following areas to be considered adequately trained to operate mulching equipment. First aid, transportation of dangerous goods, workplace hazardous materials information system, hydrogen sulfide awareness, and sign off the review of the manufacturer's recommended guideline for the mulcher they're operating the employer's company policies and procedures, safety alerts, incidents, and near misses relevant to the mulching operations, Enform Industry Recommended Practice, Volume 11, Dangerous Tree Control.